Hi guys, please subscribe to this channel and like the video to support my project and we are starting a new adventure. We are in the center of Kyiv and now I will show you one of the most beautiful landmarks of the history and architecture of Ukraine. Today I will show you San Sofia Cathedral in Kyiv. I will tell you some of its secrets and legends. Now in front of us is the bell tower of San Sofia Cathedral. It is also an architectural monument and it is also the symbol of the city of Kyiv. It was built between 1699-1706 and significantly rebuilt between 1744-1748. But I will talk about this bell tower in more detail in one of the next videos. Today we will trail short time and learn about the history of San Sofia Cathedral. The construction of San Sofia Cathedral began during the heyday of uh, Kyiv Rus. There is no consensus on who started the construction of San Sofia. According to one version, this was uh, done by the Prince Volodymyr Svetoslavich. According to another, the cathedral was uh, built in 1020-1037 uh, by his son Yaroslav the Wise. During its existence, the cathedral underwent several devastating attacks, looting and constructions and repairs. Metropolitan Petro Mahila made a great contribution to the restoration of uh, the cathedral. Today you can see two architectural styles of uh, San Sofia Cathedral. This is a Baroque style, which appeared after the reconstruction by Metropolitan Petro Mahila and uh, fragments of the walls. Uh, this is uh, how the cathedral looked uh, during the time of Yaroslav the Wise. There is a legend according to which the lost library of Yaroslav the Wise is still kept somewhere in the dungeons under San Sofia's cathedral. This was a legendary collection of books and documents that uh, belonged to the Prince Yaroslav the Wise. According to one of the versions in uh, the 20th century and later, it was located in the San Sofia of Kyiv or in uh, the dungeons under it. Proof of the existence of the library was that San Sofia Cathedral was the largest center of book publishing in Kyiv Rus in 1037-1039. It is not known exactly what happened to the library. Perhaps it really still stored somewhere under our feet in the dungeons of the cathedral. In the 17th century, a men's monastery was uh, found on the territory of the cathedral by Metropolitan Petro Mahila. And in uh, 2021, archaeologists found that in the 18th century, a monastery cemetery was located around the cathedral. At the entrance to the cathedral, we can see two models that uh, show how the cathedral looked after the restoration in the 18th century and what it was like in uh, the time of Yaroslav the Wise. In the main altar of San Sofia Cathedral on the wall of the dome, there is a famous mosaic icon of the Mother of God of the 11th century, which scientists call Aranta because of her hands raised in prayer to the sky. Aranta has been protecting Kyiv for a thousand years. The legend says that as long as there is Aranta, there will be Kyiv. But is this a legend? The fact is that Sofia of Kyiv is one of the few surviving buildings of Kyiv Rus. In different historical eras, the Tatars and Bolsheviks tried to destroy it. It also survived during the Second World War. Each time, the cathedral was saved by a miracle. In 1240, during the capture of Kyiv by the troops of Batu Han, the Tatar entered the cathedral and shot uh, the Aranta with a bow, but the arrow fell back and killed the shooter. In 1918, during the sharing of Kyiv by troops of Mikhail Muravyov, the commander of the Red Army Detachment, several shells hit San Sofia Cathedral. One of them got stuck about uh, the right shoulder of Aranta. It pierced the wall but did not explode. 
In the middle of the 30th of the 20th century, the Bolsheviks destroyed many churches. The fear of Kiev was also saved that time. It was protected uh, by the intervention of France, because uh, this cathedral is also connected with the history of France. The daughter of Yaroslav the Wise, Anna, married to French King Henry I. She was the mother of uh, French King Philip I and uh, Hugh I Vermendua, who was uh, one of the leaders of the First Crusade. One of the epithets assigned uh, to the image of Aranta is Unbreakable Wall. The interior of the cathedral mainly preserved uh, the original architecture of the 11th century, but the western part of the central nave was rebuilt in the 17th-18th centuries. The premises of the cathedral are decorated with frescoes. Today, San Sofia Cathedral preserves the world's largest complex of secular frescoes of the 11th century. Secular frescoes reflect uh, the specific life of that time. The complex of secular frescoes includes a group portrait of uh, the princely family. According to one version, the portrait depicts uh, the family of uh, Yaroslav the Wise. According to another version, uh, this is the image of uh, the family of Prince Vladimir Svetoslavovich, father of Yaroslav the Wise. And this fresco is from the 19th century. It depicts the baptism of Jesus. And now pay attention to the walls of the cathedral. If you look closely, you will see graffiti from the 11th century. Yes, in the 11th century, people also wrote on the walls. There are inscriptions and drawings left by priests and visitors to San Sofia Cathedral in Kyiv. More than 7,000 graffiti from the 11th to early 18th century have been discovered. The oldest of the graffiti of Sophia of Kiev are not written in Cyrillic, but in Glagolitic, one of the oldest Slavic alphabets. A whole history is written here. Graffiti holds valuable information about the various aspects of life in Kiev Rus. Records about the death of Yaroslav the Vice, autograph of Vladimir Monomach have been also preserved here, and many other historical information. And now pay attention to the iconostasis. In the 11th century, in place of the iconostasis, uh, there was only a low thrown fence made from marmor. The first real iconostasis was made and installed during the rebuilding of the cathedral by Metropolitan Petro Mahila in 1637-1638. It stood in the cathedral for 184 years until 1934, when the Bolsheviks ordered to cut it into pieces and send it to the reserve forms of uh, precious metals. By chance, in 1977, several fragments of uh, the gate were found in the story room of uh, the Kiev Pictures Claura, where was uh, created the so-called Museum Town. Confiscated church valuables were uh, brought there from all over Ukraine, which were mostly remelted into metal. It was found that the surviving parts of the gate got there from the reserve funds of precious metals in the 40s of the last century. Others were probably remelted. Now the royal gates have been restored and they have been returned to their formal place. Also, in the cathedral you can see the remains of the mosaic floor of the 11th century and mixed lime cement mortar preparation for a mosaic floor of the 11th century. In the cathedral also stored the sarcophagus of Yaroslav the Wise. In 1936, mixed bones of male and female skeletons, as well as uh, several children's bones, were discovered here. According to the researchers, the children's remains could have got here by accident during or after the robbery because the sarcophagus was robbed in ancient times. 
In 1939, the remains discovered in the sarcophagus were sent to the Leningrad Research Institute of Ethnography and Anthropology, where male and female skeletons were assembled from the scattered bones. It was established that the male skeletons belonged to a person aged about 70 years, who had a high about 170 to 175 cm. During his lifetime, he had congenital laminous and pathological changes in the right hip joint that occurred in adulthood. And it is known from the annals that Yaroslav's device had been lame since childhood. And we also know from historical sources about the leg wound the prince suffered during the battle with the Pechenegs. Yaroslav died at the age of 75 and, according to other sources, at the age of 65. Based on these testimonies, the scientists came to the conclusion that Yaroslav's device was really buried in this tomb. In 1940, both skeletons were returned to Kiev. Unfortunately, in 1943, the remains of Yaroslav disappeared. There is a version that they were taken to Poland and later to USA. Their current uh, variables are unknown. Now, the sarcophagus contains only female remains, uh, the dating and belonging of which I explain it in different ways. By the way, Sophia of Kiev since ancient times served as burial place for princes and high clergy. The necropolis of San Sophia, which contained dozens of burial both in uh, the cathedral and its courtyard, is the oldest and covers uh, the longest period of existence in the history of Ukraine. Now we are in the second floor of the cathedral, in the choirs. The western part of the choirs was rebuilt in the 18th-19th centuries. The northern and southern ones have completely preserved their original architectural forms. There are also a lot of frescoes here, and from the second floor we can get a better look at the Aranta. During my visit, here was also an exhibition of 12th century frescoes of San Mihail Golden Domed Monastery.
Also, legend says that the indescribably riches of Fakir Ruth are still welled up within the walls of San Sofia Cathedral. The underground labyrinths of Sofia have a special atmosphere. The secrets of walls of her Sofia will excite the minds for centuries. Despite the fact that uh, the untold riches have remained only a legend, no one doubted that this cathedral keeps many secrets. That's all for today. I thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in new interesting places.